it's time to sell your Surrey investment condo right now. Well, not really. But earlier in the year, I made this video telling you all about why it was the best possible time and why you should buy a condo right now. And I'm not gonna be humble here. I was totally right. To stay consistent, I think right now is a very good time to sell your investment condos if you currently have one in the city of Surrey. And in this video, I'm gonna explain to you exactly the factors that I think are all coming together leading me to believe that right now might be one of the best times to sell your investment condo specifically rather than waiting until the spring. But really quickly before I do, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date on Surrey, Fraser Valley, or Canadian real estate for that matter. And if you wouldn't mind just hitting the like button, that is the best way to help me grow this channel and inform more people about the real estate market. Thank you so much for doing that. And if you do own an investment property within the city of Surrey, please comment down below. I would love to know when you bought it, how much you paid, so other people can go down and read those comments and also see that real estate might be the best investment you can possibly make. And obviously I believe that because I'm a real estate agent, but your comments down below will actually help me prove a point that I'm not just a bias realtor. I mean, I am a bias realtor, but I'm not just a bias realtor. And now on to the video. First, let, don't let me scare you. I don't think this is a bubble going to burst type of video where I think values are going to turn back. And in fact, if you're not considering already selling your property here within the city of Surrey or your investment property for that matter, I would say don't. The best strategy to long-term growth is to buy and hold and quite frankly, never sell. Just recently this year myself, I bought an investment property out at Historic Bowes Farm and I have seen growth in that property to the tune of about six figures. And my plan is to hold that property for as long as I possibly can have the tenant then pay down the mortgage and grow the inevitable wealth that will come with owning any real estate. So why make a video all about selling your condo right now? Well, if you're happy with the level of growth that you have achieved through owning your rental property, and you think you could now take that equity and put it to better use elsewhere, I think that there's a very good chance within the coming months we are going to see a peak to the market and that value will not increase again until we get to that next run. And here are my thoughts on why that could be. Currently, the number of sales is coming off of record highs from this past spring and those record highs were even higher than previous record highs of 2017. Next, both benchmark price and average price increases have slowed after reaching new highs just within the last few months. Absorption rates are kicking around 60% right now, which is up from normal averages of around 20%. But nothing crazy like 2017 and 2018 when they hit over 100%, meaning more properties were being sold than were coming to the market. But after every frenzy, there's always some sort of a slowdown. And that's actually one of my suggestions of why now would be the best time to sell. Even if you paid $200,000 for your condo and it's currently worth $450,000, after every peak, there's always a 5 to 10% correction before the market finds its new normal. Let's say best case scenario, the market doesn't dip and it just flattens out. It might take you a lot longer to sell in a slower, flatter market than it would today. Currently, the average time to sell a Surrey condo is hovering around 20 days on the market. In a normal market, that number will likely triple up to about 60 days. The next big unknown is the Canadian federal government, and you never know what they're going to do all the parties want to do something about housing affordability that could be interest rates or other policies so that unfortunately is an unknown and a wild card all of the time but I do think after these big runs they have to do something and who knows what that something might be and one thing I know for sure that something if changed at all will be with the idea behind reducing the price of your investment condo, not increasing it. But on the other end of that, I know that most political parties when they dabble in housing are just going to f it up. But the craziest and most important thing to remember in today's real estate market is how many properties are currently on the market. The Fraser Valley Real Estate Board area that's everywhere from North Delta to Mission currently has only about 3,700 active listings on the market. This is the lowest number of any summer dating back all the way to 1981. Does anyone remember 1982? Well, that's an interesting point. In 1982, interest rates went from 9% all the way up to 21% almost overnight and financially crippled anyone who had bought a home within the last 12 months. My hopes are that the government has learned from their mistakes of the past and don't wait too long 
in order to increase interest rates. And if they do wait too long, hopefully they didn't wait too long and then turn them up too fast because waiting too long and too fast, that's actually the problem. I'm actually expecting, or at least just really, really hoping that the Fed does turn interest rates up ever so slightly very soon. And this could be something that happens now that we're through the election because politicians are super smart. The good news is that the Canadian government did uh, institute and then increase the stress test. So anybody that's qualified for a mortgage since 2018 shouldn't have any problem paying their higher rate in the event that interest rates go up or even double. However, if interest rates do go up, it will bring prices down, leaning me back towards the fact that we should probably consider selling investment condos now. But let's get back to the inventory. The market is absolutely frenzied due to the lack of inventory. And when I'm seeing some sales post, I'm blown away. They're silly. They're crazy high, leading me again to think, is it time for you to cash out? In reality, it makes perfect sense for you to cash out if you think that money is better used elsewhere. So if you can invest it into paying off your own principal residence or possibly even investing it into the stock market, if you think you can get better returns in a different manner, now is the time to sell. I think that this market with as little as 1,000 active listings added to it, which could happen within the period period of about a month would actually flatten the market out completely. And that would be good overall, but it wouldn't be good for you if you are considering cashing out of your investment property. So everything here combined leads me to believe that right now might be one of the best times ever to consider cashing out of your investment property, but again, only specifically if you think that money is going to be used better elsewhere. However, if you aren't worried about the money and don't know what you would do with it otherwise, and you're planning to own real estate for your entire life, just sit on it. Everything is gonna be just fine. And if you own that property 10 years from now, it's gonna be worth more in 10 years than it is today. In fact, it will likely double. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in selling your Surrey investment property and you need some more advice, please book a call with me right down below in the description. Comment, like, share this video. I would appreciate it. Thank you so much and we'll see you in a couple of days.